Hello, this is I Bring It Every Day, and my name is Kelly, and this video is sponsored by Fermu. Fermu has graciously gifted my channel a pair of these really cool sunglasses. And in the description will be a link to the company, as well as a discount code where you can receive 50% off on your order. Okay, so anyway, the, the company has makes pretty stylish glasses. You can have prescription or non-prescription. And also you can do sunglasses or regular sunglasses. So I decided to do these sunglasses and they're pretty cool. And I like the uh, brown tint there. And I, and they fit my face pretty well and they, they're they staying up, so this is good. So anyway, um, these are very affordable and these run about $39. So if you use the, the coupon code or the discount code and the link, you'll get 50% off. So thanks for watching, and I appreciate all the support on the channel from everybody. It's been awesome. Thanks. Let's go, let's go, and welcome in. Welcome to the I Bring It Every Day show, and uh, my name is Kelly. All right. So thanks for watching, and uh, today I'm going to be making some hamburgers and fries. Um, they're going to be grass-fed, so this is... I guess the first or second, maybe third time we've done it, um, just in life, really. And so we were able to get a decent deal on the um, grass-fed beef. So it's very exciting. So that's what we're working on. And uh, I've preheated my, um, my goodness, the uh, air fryer, yeah, to get, to get the potatoes going. And I'm sort of uh, working on potato here. Yep, so I'm soaking them up and I'm going to be cutting them. So... I'm going to show you a little bit of the process and then we'll see how it all goes. But welcome into the channel. Uh, my name is Kelly and I do enjoy cooking on Friday. So I tend to cook Friday at uh, 6 p.m. Eastern. And, you know, we've covered a lot of different topics, but we're trying to do healthier meals. Now, this one's not going to be 30 minutes because potatoes take a while, especially when you're doing them at home. But, you know, people like a good burger and fries or potato chips. So I'm going to do a couple of different things and we'll see how it all turns out. So welcome in and uh, we'll see, we'll proceed to the first step. Okay. So I'm just peeling these potatoes. These are russet potatoes and these were on special this week and they gave you quite a few. Like these weren't by the pound. They came in a big bag. And uh, I think it was five pounds or three pounds. Have to look. <laughs> Don't remember. Yeah, my husband picked these up, so I'll let him do the potatoes. So I'm not a fan of russet because they take a while to cook. So uh, if you like the um, the red or the yellow, they do cook faster. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these in the microwave for a few minutes to soften them up. But I'm going to actually have to cut these, so you're going to see the whole process. And... Uh, but I'm peeling, peeling, peeling. And I'm throwing them into a little vat of water just to keep them from turning brown. So I just have a bowl with some water. And I'll figure out the, the cutting later. But I'm just going to cut four potatoes. So I did two. So I'm, I'm just going to show you this process. And I like these little um, potato peelers, I guess. But you can use them to peel anything. Usually it's potatoes, and it goes pretty fast. I don't mind. I don't mind doing this by hand, but uh, there it is. So I've got the uh, air fryer preheating again. I turned it off at the very beginning, but I'm just going to put it back in and let it go. And, um, well, the other thing I want to mention is make sure that your potatoes aren't sprouting. And also make sure that your potatoes are not green because that has a, it's not a poison, but it is a poison. And I don't remember the name of the ingredient, but potatoes do go bad. So you want them to be nice and white like this. Let's see if I can hold that up to the camera. It's got a little dingy there, but not bad. It's looking good. So I'm just putting it in the water. And this is, and then what we're going to do also is we're going to, these are all the, the peels from the potato. So we're gonna come. We're gonna put this in the compost bin, and we found a little compost bin at Aldi. So we're gonna try it and see how it works, you know. And uh, from there, but I'm gonna keep peeling, and then I'm gonna cut these up. 
And then I have the beef right here. And this is the grass-fed beef. This is only a pound. And what they do is they put a, um, they shrink wrap it at Aldi. So it's actually pretty good. And it stays fresh. And the color looks good. So I'm just going to season this a little bit. I'm going to put a little bit of um, garlic powder. Let me make sure I open the correct side. Yeah. I'm going to put a little garlic powder, a little onion powder in there. And then I'm just going to form the burgers so there's the uh, garlic powder. Oh, and actually, I'm going to use a little bit of this. This is my little steak. This is the this is the steak seasoning, and I've used a lot of this. But I do enjoy putting this in. And this has like a little bit of garlic onion as well. So I think we'll just do this for funsies. Put that in there. Yep. And uh, you know we'll do that, and then I'll form the burgers, and I'll be back. Post little. I'll show you the compost bin uh, that we picked up at Aldi. And it has this little filter in the top. And it's charcoal. It's hard to see, but you can sort of see that in there. And then it, they, they give you these little tiny bags. I don't know what's special about these bags, if anybody knows. But I'm just going to take the peels and just put them in here. And uh, so we're trying this composting. We'll see how it works out. But in a future episode, I'll show you. How it, how it works out. We've never done this before. So now the, the thing is we have a lot of fruit and stuff. You, know, you never want to put meat in here, but you just want to make sure all those extra um, peels and things like that, banana peels, you can put them in here. And I just put the potato peels in. It has a little handle, which is nice. So anyway, that's the uh, recycle bin. And then I'll continue on with the cooking. So Say, be a tree hugger and hug your uh, compost bin. <laughs> All right, now. All right, so I decided I'm going to do a couple more potatoes. What the heck? We're living dangerously here. <laughs> and the reason why I'm going to do it is I'm going to try some potato chips also. So I'm going to see how these turn out. And, uh, yeah, we'll see how it, how it goes. Ooh. Anyway, so I'm going to just do a couple more. And I figure... Sort of going as I feel as I go along. But, like I said, people love hamburger. And, and I have, I'm going to add actually some bacon. I have some pre-cooked bacon. So we're going to do probably, for my husband, he'll do, we'll do a bacon cheeseburger. For me, I just do plain. I don't really, never been a cheeseburger person. I eat them, but I'm not, you know, I could just eat a hamburger and be good. Yeah. So there's that. And I got the, uh, like I said, the air fryer's preheated. And then uh, what I'm going to do is uh, once I finish peeling these, I'm going to chop them up and then put them in the microwave and just get them going. I want to try to soften these up just a little bit. Like I said, russet potatoes are pretty hard and they take forever to cook. So there we go. That's the one there. Finish the last one. So I'm going to add a couple extra. So I'm going to make a couple of chips out of these. Fingers crossed. Yeah. Keep going. Okay. Almost done. Yeah, see, this is real work. So I want people to see, like, the real process of cooking because it takes a minute. Like I said, cooking is, it should be fast, but, you know, realistically, you know, you almost need a sous chef, which is somebody who's going to do this peeling for you because the fastest part of, uh, you know, hamburgers and fries, the, the, the hamburger is actually the fastest part. And I'm actually preheating the uh, cast iron stove or cast iron pan. I said stove, pan. All right. So anyway, I'm going to put more of this into the, uh, let's see if I can grab this, do this real quick. Okay. Yep. Mm-hmm. And I'm just gonna, you know, re recycle these guys, and then we're good. And then I'll, then next I'll start cutting. Okay, so I'm gonna do some really thin potato chips. I've got this somewhat sharp knife. I'm gonna do some chips, and I'm gonna do some fries. 
And uh, ooh, I thought this was a little sharper. But this is coming out pretty thin. I'll try some chips. And this might actually do pretty well in the uh, air fryer. But anyway, so I'm doing some chips. Now I'll just keep going and I'll come back. These look pretty good, right? Yes. All right. So now I'm going to do a couple of the fries. And I'm just sort of making these strips, sort of like McDonald's. <laughs> yeah, they're not thick. They're not thin. They're kind of in the middle. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going to do a few of these. I'm going to put these in the microwave and let them go. They say you can boil them too. So, yeah, we'll see how this goes. But I'm just sort of doing this by hand here. And if you have a mandolin, if you know what that is, mandolin's great. And it really does make things go a lot faster. But I'm being creative today. And I'm just going to keep doing these potatoes. They're a little bit, they're thick but thin at the same time. And I'll show you. So there you go. There's one there. So it's sort of eh, not bad. And uh, that's what we're going to do. And if you want, you know, you can make them even thinner. Because you don't want to make them too thick. Because, they, I, you know, whenever you have those fries that, like, I remember when I was young, when my relatives made fries, they, they used that machine that you sort of extrude them. You put the potato in and extrude it. And they came out way too thick. And they would never crisp. So using the air fryer should be a little bit easier, but I'm just going to get these in. I'm going to probably, um, so they recommend either boiling them, you know, so you can do that yourself. You can boil them. I'm just going to go down the length of this one here, cut it in half, and I'm just sort of doing strips, and I'm going to thin this out even more. And this is just like sort of a wedge, but I'm just going down and just, and I'm just going to keep Thinning that out. So as you see, this one's a little bit thinner. Yeah, we're going to do that. But they cook a lot faster if you make them slightly thinner. And we're going to put these in because this is going to take a while. Yep. So I should have done these first, but I'm doing them. <laughs> I'm getting them. And, I'm, and I did uh, really make almost too many. There's only two of us, so whenever you cook for two people, it really, you don't need as much. <laughs> unless you're like a really big eater. I don't know. So we're just basically doing a pound of meat and like two potatoes of each. And these are, some of these are actually smaller. So, and I'm going to put this in the microwave and uh, boil it a little bit. And then hopefully this will work. But yeah, these are the fries. They look pretty good. That one's a little bit fat. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep it going. But I'm just going to put it in the water here. So let me show you that. Yep, putting it back in the water. And I'm going to do the chips separately. But I'm going to end up probably putting them back in the water as well. But I just wanted to show you my quick and dirty process of doing the fries. Then I'm just going to keep going, and then we'll uh, I'll show you when they're all done. Yeah. Okay. Let's see here. Yep. Still going. Keep going. Fries are looking good. And I think because we're putting these in the microwave, or in the air fryer won't be so bad. Yeah, so not, not too bad. Just going to make these a little thinner. I think we've got like two and a half potatoes already done. And we'll just keep going. But this is what you do. And this is why it's always good to have a sous chef. So if families cook together, um, one person can do this. Now, hopefully, you don't want the kids doing it, but, you know, eventually you want to show them how to work a knife and uh, cook because, you know, you have to feed yourself at one point or another in the future, right? 
So anything that you can show them would be good. I mean, you could actually have them put together the uh, hamburger part. Just give them the gloves and then bam, you know, you can show them how to make the burger. Yeah. So anyway, there it is. So I'm, I'm going to keep going and we'll... Uh, Okay, so now what I'm doing is I boiled the potatoes. You see how hot they are? I'm just going to dry them off a little bit. And then I'm going to put a little bit of oil, salt, and pepper. And then I'm just going to put them in the uh, tray here. So this is the tray for the uh, air fryer. And hopefully these will cook reasonably fast. I made these thin, try to. And then, uh, you know, we'll just go from there. Yep. So this is what you do. Just dry them off. And we'll go from there. Whoops, as I'm dropping them. <laughs> yes. All right, so now I'm going to do the chips. So I'm just putting these in the hot water that I just used. <laughs> and I'm going to let these uh, kind of slightly cook a little bit. And I'm going to put these in in a separate batch. And then uh, I got a couple extra leftover potatoes. So I may save that for tomorrow for uh, breakfast. We'll see. Fingers crossed here. But I'm just throwing them in the hot water. I'm going to let that sit for a little bit, get them going. And then uh, we got to do the fries. I'll put the fries in the air fryer. Yes. So there it is. That's looking pretty good. See that? And you want that water nice and hot. Yep. So there it is. So they're covered and they're good to go. Okay. These are the French fries. And they're ready to go. So I'm just going to put a little bit of olive oil on them. A little salt and pepper and maybe some seasoned salt. And then we're going to just put them in the air fryer and, and let them go. Until they get brown. And so these look pretty good, I must say. Um, and they're pretty evenly cut. Like you try to get them as close in size as you can. So they all cook it. So we'll, we'll come back and we'll see how these do in just a moment. All right. So I'm starting the burgers now. So I already seasoned them as you saw earlier. Put a little salt and pepper. Put a little bit of the uh, steak seasoning in there. And then uh, some garlic, which we enjoy. I don't know if you can see that seasoning, but there it is there on the top. And that's what's giving it that color. <laughs> so I'm just going to make four patties out of here. And uh, hopefully that should be enough. And you just want to sort of incorporate all that seasoning in there. I may just put a little bit more, not too much more, but just a little bit more. And then you can sort of see what I'm doing. Make sure you open the small side. <laughs> I've accidentally opened the big side. There's a small side, the big side. And uh, oops, way too much seasoning. <laughs> Just hilarious. So you can put onion powder. You can put full-blown onions in there if you want. Some people put peppers. I just like my burgers really simple. But I'm going to do a little more of this steak seasoning here. This one's called Montreal steak. Mm. So I'm going to put a little more of that in there. And I'm just going to incorporate it. Make four burgers, and uh, that's it. And I got the uh, cast iron pan, which you can see right here, warming up. I'm going to put a little bit of, I'm going to say oil on the bottom, but we'll see. I don't know. I'll figure it. I'm figuring it out. So the fries are going to take a minute, as they always do. So I hate to like cook the burger a little bit too soon before the fries, but we'll see. I mean, it is what it is. You know, it's like... I'm still learning, like the timing of the cooking sometimes is interesting. Like you just have to be really careful. And uh, so my husband yelled at me. He said the burgers were too thick last time. <laughs> he didn't yell, but you know what I mean. He was like, eh, they're too thick. And I was like, oh, I like having a thick burger. For me, it feels like I'm eating something. But anyway, so you want to work the meat, not too much. This is 8515. Um, so not a whole lot of fat in this. This is kind of on, this isn't the 90%. So I think 90% beef makes really, really dry burgers because there's not enough fat. So you need a little bit of fat in there. So maybe I'm just going to make these and I'm just sort of doing this. And I'm just going to, 
like you can actually take a glass and roll these out on something if you want it or rolling pin. But I, I don't know. Like you said, he wants his really thin. So this is what we're going to do. Yeah. All right. So I'm just going to put it off to the side, go to the next one. But with a pound, you could do four burgers. That would be like a quarter pound. Mm. Like some of the restaurants do. You can make them smaller. It's up to you. It's, it's your world, you know. And uh, hopefully you can hear me over that. Uh, air fryer is loud. <laughs> But this is real life, you know what I mean? All right. So there's a number two. It's looking pretty good. And let's do number three. I might make three and a half. These are going to be small. Yeah. Three and a half burgers. And so like I said, you just try to incorporate that uh, seasoning throughout the meat. And I can smell it. It smells pretty good, you know. And that's a good way. Use your nose. That's how you know you put enough seasoning in without really tasting it, you know? Because if you can't smell anything, that means it's probably bland. <laughs> All right. So he likes some smushy. So there it is. That's a pretty good burger. Let's actually see if I can show you this burger. There it is. That looks pretty good. Yeah. Okay. I may smash the other ones. Yeah. I'm, pretty, I'm digging this. Okay. I'm going to make probably three and a half. Yeah. Three and a half burgers. These are pretty good size. So I'm going to put just a, I hate to put oil, but you know, I'm going to put just a little oil in the pan. And this is cast iron, so, and it's been heating up for a while. So this is the last one. Yeah. Yeah, this other one is a little bit big. I may have to fix it, but I'm going to put a little bit of oil in the bottom. So this is avocado oil here. And I don't know if you can see me putting it. I'm just drizzling a little bit. It's been heating up. But I just want to make sure these don't stick. Because I hate when that happens. Uh, let's see. Back, back on there. Here we go. Okay. Ah, you hear that? That sounds good. Yes. Actually, I made four and a half burgers. This one here, I think I made it too big. So I think what I might do is take this guy and make it, add it to this guy. Oh. Yeah, he said he's eating these at Smash Burger. I've never been to Smash Burger. So I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah. Like I said, I've gone to, you know, the usual suspects, fast food, and then uh, five guys, you know. But anyway, there it is. So we got, yes, yeah, so we got five burgers. That's pretty good. All right, now. Okay, so we're going to let these go and see what happens. Yeah. And, uh, oops, we put the lid back on this. Just a little bit of oil there. Yeah, these are going to cook fast. These, these poor fries are not done. But, eh. That's life, yeah. Okay. And he wants some cheese. So I have some mozzarella cheese here. Let's see if I can. But uh, I don't know. I mean, they might only need hmm, a few minutes. So this is very interesting. Okay, so I'm digging this. And I got the, I got the uh, burgers going. They're going pretty slowly. Uh, these are on medium. It's like number three or four. Number four, I think, on the stove. I don't know what that is. But uh, they're going pretty well. So the fries did better. Th you know, I did them a little bit thinner this time. So they are cooking pretty fast. And I think the temperature is 400 according to the air fryer. So, yeah. That is awesome. Yeah. Okay. So we'll keep going, and then I'll be right back. All right. So I'm using some of this pre-cooked bacon. I'm just putting this on the side here to warm it up. And uh, he wanted a bacon cheeseburger. Oh, actually, I still have two more pieces. Oh, my. Yeah, every time you think, yeah, every time you think you're done. So we, we've just been putting it in the uh, refrigerator. Once you open it and putting it in the bag, I still have two pieces left. But anyway, he's going to have that. And then I have, I'll show you the um, mozzarella cheese. We bought this already sliced. 
from the store, and uh, he likes mozzarella. So these are these are little slices, and it is kind of warm today, so they're melting. <laughs> but I'll put those on at the very end. But you see, the burgers are doing great. I turned them up a little bit. I did have them lower than I thought, so. But now I'm putting them over. But these are so thin, these are going to cook very, very fast. So I'm impressed. Yeah. And then while you're, you know, you do check your fries. Like I said, I'm not a professional with the air fryer, but they do cook fast. It's sort of a convection that uses a little bit of a fan. And um, so you just want to make sure that you don't burn them. You know what I mean? <laughs> you keep an eye on them. And, uh, yeah, they're looking good. I smell them a little bit. But I'm going to. In a little bit, I'm just going to turn these over in just a sec, because this one is still going. Yeah, let me see. I'm going to take a peek. Ooh, yes, this looks good. All right, so I'm going to flip it. Now watch this. Yeah, it's funny is turn that up a little bit, but you see the color. Color is pretty good back there, actually. Yeah, there's the color there, and uh, we'll just let this go. This one's a little, but it's not brown brown, but this one's actually doing a little better and you can barely see it in the shot. Let me see if I can pull it back this way. But yeah, this is the one that was cooking a little bit. It's a little bit over the middle of the burner, but I'm just gonna let these go. This one is still a little pale. I'm just gonna let him go for a little bit. But as you see, these turn brown pretty nice. This one, I probably made it a little bit too thick. So I'll eat that one later. And uh, I'm going to let these go. And I have the bacon sort of right here warming up on the side. And then we're almost ready to put the cheese. So we'll see how this goes. I'm going to check the fries. I'll be right back. So I'm going to put this back in the fridge because it's really melting. But you hear that sizzle? So the bacon's going. And then uh, in just a second, I'm going to plate this. And then we'll see how it goes. Okay, so now we're plating everything. So I don't know if you can see that, but there's the fries. In the front, we got two burgers. So I put the cheese on, and this is pretty melted. Wow. Uh-oh. So anyway, there's the melted cheese and mozzarella. Oh, it's redundant. <laughs> mozzarella is melted cheese. <laughs> mozzarella is cheese. And then here's the bacon. So I'm going to put one on each. Here's the bacon. And I'm just heating it up on the stove. So there's the bacon. I don't know if you can see that. All right. So one across. So anyway, and then this other burger, I'm just going to let it go. I'll let mine get a little more well done. But anyway, there's the hamburger. So we got it. So we have the bacon cheeseburger. Sorry. Bacon cheeseburger with the homemade French fries. So homemade bacon cheeseburger with fries. All right. Now let's see what Mr. I Bring It Every Day says. And I'm going to let this one go. Okay. Uh, before you say anything, hang on. Just There we go. Okay, so we got some pickles. And uh, we're going to have a pickle. And these are the fries. I don't know if you can hear this. Let me see if I can do a cr crunch. Let's see. I don't know if you can hear that, but they're crunchy. Okay. Very crispy. So I highly recommend putting them in the boiling water. I leave them in there for a little bit. But I'm going to keep going. I'm going to finish this last burger. We'll plate it for you. And I'm just grabbing a couple of. But I, I'm just doing regular hamburger. There it is. So that's gorgeous. Bring it a little closer. Yeah, it looks good. All right. So let me plate this one. And I'm going to get a... Um, any, any last words, Mr. I bring it? Delicious. Delicious. Okay, say that again. Delicious. Okay, good. Yeah, I couldn't hear you. I just want to make sure. I'm going to put these last two in. We'll eat these tomorrow, and we're good to go. Yeah. So anyway, let me. Uh, I'll be right back, and we'll sum up our meal today. Okay. So this is the meal. So I have a nice dill pickle on the side. Have the fries. Have the burger. And we did this all from scratch. And uh, I cooked mine medium. I like it medium. I put the two extra burgers here. And they're cooking. Let me turn that up a little bit. Yeah, everything looks good. 
So like I said, make sure you uh, buy local. You know, we're trying this grass-fed meat. Does it taste any better or the same? It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's really tender. This mm -hmm. was actually more tender than the other stuff, I will say. So thank you, Buddha of Destiny. Namaste. Uh, she has, uh, she's been really uh, pushing me to eat better. So I'm trying to do more organic. So it's organic grass fed. Costs a little bit more. It's about $5 a pound. So not cheap, but eh, now like then, you know, that like the, the, the regular meat, I think that's what it costs, if not sometimes more. So you just sort of have to, um, you know, go for it. So yeah. So anyway, so like I said, this is I bring it every day. You know, we're hoping that you eat better, make better choices for your health. And, um, you know, buy local, eat as fresh as you can, and cook as often as you can. And if not, you can always cook a little bit in advance. That way you don't have, you can just, you know, reheat. A lot of people are do that, doing that, especially if you work outside the home. It's a pain. I remember those days. So, but anyway, thanks for coming. And, um, you yeah, know, we'll be back again. And uh, if there's anything in the comments, you know, just let me know what you think. It's easy. Hamburger and uh, fry is not bad. The fries take a minute, I will say. But they're so good when they're done. And these are these are beautiful. I don't know if you can see that, but look at that beautiful brown color. Looking good. All right, now. I'm going to eat that one. I'll, I'll eat it later. But anyway, there it is. So thank you so much. It's I Bring It Every Day, and my name is Kelly. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Yes. And uh, let's see. I'm going to play out a little bit of my theme song. And uh, thank you so much for uh, coming to the channel. We appreciate you. Okay. I think we got it. Uh-oh. All right. So we're going to say peace and love. And uh, thank you to Drizzlestank. Ooh. Hey, cool. <laughs> oh, yeah. And thank you for watching. When does she bring it every day? Every day. How often does she bring it every day? Every day. Knitting, crafting, singing, eating, crochet. Every day. When does she bring it every, every day. day? I bring it every day. Every day. I bring it every day. Every day. I bring it every day. Ooh, the fries are going. I mean, the burger. Thank you, boys. I appreciate you. Bye-bye.